In this video, we're going to talk about the Spectrum EQ window in Reason. So let's go ahead and get started. The Spectrum EQ can be accessed by clicking. Um, if you're in the mixer, you've got these buttons here up top. So on any channel, you can click that and access that way. If you're in the rack as we were in the beginning here, uh, your master section, you've got a button there. Also on your mix channel devices, as well as your audio track devices, you've got one available to you there as well. Um, alternatively, you can just use F2 on your keyboard. And this is useful for if I hit F7 and go to the sequencer, I'll F3 and close the browser. If you're working in the sequencer and you don't want to go back to the mixer, we've got our audio track selected, so you can just hit F2 and access it that way. You can also choose uh, which mix channel will be displayed here by using this drop-down menu at the bottom. So we can just choose master section. And the master section does not actually have any controls available where you can really just use the analyzer here. Uh, so we've got the Kong there, and we'll go back to our audio track where we started. You can resize the Spectrum EQ window, so however large you'd like it. You could even, you know, make this as large as you'd like and move it to a second monitor if you've got one connected. In the center area here, you have a spectrum analyzer that shows audio frequency content in real time. The audio that is displayed in the spectrum analyzer is pre-fader. If you check the follow selection checkbox down here, then for our instance in the sequencer, whatever track you select, then we're going to follow along with the spectrum EQ window. So we're, in, we're on audio track one. If I select the Kong kit here, then you see we now have the Kong kit. I'll F6 and maximize the rack. If I go to Kong kit 3 and 4, I have, I've broken out one of the drum pads to these separate channels. You can see this changes to 3 and 4. And if we go back to our original audio track, we now have that avail available for viewing here. And I'll just F7 and bring back up the sequencer. And actually, what I'd like to do is bring up the mixer here so that we can see how the controls in the EQ section of the mixer relate to the controls in the Spectrum EQ window. So I've just hit F5 to maximize the mixer. Um, if you're not familiar with the mixer, you may not be if you're watching this on the Spectrum EQ. So just know that it's divided into sections. These have section headers, so you've got input, dynamics, EQ, uh, inserts, send, and faders. These can also be hidden too. So you can turn all of these sections off if you'd like with those there. So, but what we came here for is to see how these dials correspond to the controls here. So if we were to start with we're on audio track one, so uh, low pass filter and high pass filter up at the top here. You can click these buttons to turn them on if you're in the mixer. And as you can see, it turns it on. Um, that just is the same as turning the low pass uh, filter on with this checkbox. The high pass filter. And as you can see, it turns on there. And we can turn it off there. Um, if I turn on the high pass filter and then I'll change the frequency range for this EQ point and just note that the frequency dial here will turn this this bottom one because actually because we're on the high pass filter so this here 
And alternatively, if I turn the dial, then we see the spectrum EQ is adjusted. And I'll turn that off, turn on the low pass, and as you can see, as I turn the dial, we then adjust in the spectrum EQ window. And we'll turn off the low pass filter. You could, again, use the on button, or we'll just uncheck it. Moving on down below, where you've got uh, the high frequency area, high mid frequency, low mid frequency, low frequency. If we make adjustments uh, here, it's just the same as above with low uh, pass and high pass. I'll turn up the gain. And as you can see, in the Spectrum EQ window, we have our adjustments shown. And as we move in this window, the dial moves. We're adjusting the gain in dB. So this is the gain knob. Now, if we were to adjust the frequency, then you're going to see this dial here will adjust accordingly. If we wanted to turn on, there's a bell mode option. Right now we're in shelf, but if we wanted to use this in bell mode, you could turn this bell uh, button, press this button here, or uh, you can also click the checkbox there, which also illuminates the bell button. And now we're in bell mode. Now, when you're making these adjustments, just know that if you hold down shift, that will constrain your movement horizontally or vertical, or uh, um, vertically as we we're doing, or uh, horizontally. Also, you can control, hold control and click, and it will return it back to 0 dB. So each one of these is just the same if we move on to the high mid frequency, adjusting the frequency gain. We'll then alter in the spectrum EQ. Just as if we adjust here, it will change in the mixer. Now, with the high mid and low mid uh, EQ points, you can adjust the Q. You see we've got a dial here for Q, so you can adjust that here. You can also hold down Alt, click on the EQ point, and drag up or down. And now Control click to return that back to 0 dB. Also, one other thing to be mindful of is that you can right or you can control click. We've been making lots of adjustments. You can also control click on any dial and return these back to their original positions. Okay, you can also turn on E mode here in the Spectrum EQ window as well. And this is the corresponding button in the mixer. Also worth mentioning really quickly is that if the filters to dynamic sidechain button is selected, then you lose the uh, low pass and high pass options here in the Spectrum EQ window. So if you're looking for those and they're gone, then just double check your filters to dynamic uh, sidechain button. Also, what else? Um, when you hover over an EQ point, notice at the bottom here, the readout will change. So right now, it will read out the, uh, the name, the frequency, and gain values. So all you have to do is hover. You don't have to click. And you see you've got that white circle that stays there until you move to another EQ point. And note that the information down below is reflective of whichever one has that this white circle highlighting it. Also, if you would like to automate uh, 
using the Spectrum EQ window, you can do that as well. Most of us will have a MIDI controller and we'll want to use maybe the dials on that MIDI controller to uh, do any EQ automation, but just know that if you would like to automate from the Spectrum EQ window, that is available to you. So let's F7 and bring up the sequencer. Uh, we are on audio track one, so you want to be sure that you select audio track one. Let's turn off the record enable for audio because we only want to work with automation. And we'll simply just hit the asterisk on the numeric keypad, start recording, make our adjustments. stop go back to the beginning and as you can see our re reason automatically created lanes for the high frequency gain and the frequency uh, and added that in okay so I think we'll go ahead and stop there I think we've covered everything um, Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.